Good afternoon. So you need to calculate the delta H for this chemical reaction. The delta H for the chemical reaction is standard enthalpy of formation of products minus standard enthalpy of formation of reactants. So your products are two moles H2O. So standard enthalpy of formation of H2O value times two plus standard enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide value times one. So that's your products. Sorry, I forgot to write one. You minus your reactant. So standard enthalpy of formation of your reactants, which is CH4, plus standard enthalpy of formation of oxygen times two. But since oxygen is an element, its value is always zero. Standard enthalpy of formation of any element is always zero. Then, so if you plug in the values, uh, H2O is minus 285.8 um, times two, plus your CO2 value is minus 393.5. Your CH4 value, and sorry, there are two values given for H2O, both liquid and gas phase. So in the equation, it's given gas phase. Make sure you use the value of gas phase, which is a minus a minus 241.8. Sorry about that. So since you need the enthalpy of formation of H2O in the gas phase, you are given in the gas phase, you have to use only the value in the gas phase. Uh, from that, you will be subtracting the value of CH4, I already told you, which is um, oxygen is zero. So 74.87 plus two times zero. You can complete the math. So minus 241.8 times two. If you have time, we can come back and uh, finish the math uh, because they give me only five minutes time to go over all the parts. But if I have time, I'll come back to this. And the next one, they need you to calculate the average bond enthalpy of uh, oxygen bond. So same delta H value. Oh, we have to do this in order to uh, find the enth bond enthalpy value, we have to um, complete the calculation part of this. So let me check. So it's 241.8 um, times 2 is 483.6 minus 393.5. which is 877.1 with a negative sign. And on the right side, this is 74.87 with a negative value and you have a minus sign in front of it. So that becomes 74.87. So therefore the enthalpy change for this reaction is 74.87 subtracted. It should give you approximately 802.23 kilojoules per mole. So that's the enthalpy change for the chemical reaction. So now they want you to calculate the bond enthalpies. So if I write the equation, it's a longer question. They should have given more than five minutes for me. But CH4, these, you have four carbon hydrogen bonds, plus you have two oxygen oxygen bonds, plus two CO2 plus two H2O. So now, looking at the bond enthalpy values, the delta H for this chemical reaction, which is minus 802.23. Minus 802.23 is equals to the bond enthalpy values. So these are my reactants and these are my products. For reactants, the bond should be broken. For products, the bond should be formed. 
So for the bond breaking, you require the energy. There are four carbon hydrogen bonds. So that means minus 802.23 equals to four times the bond enthalpy value of carbon hydrogen, which is 414 plus there are two oxygen oxygen values that is what you need to find out for reactant bonds are broken energy required so therefore the value will be with a positive sign for products the bonds are formed energy released so the values would be with a negative sign now each carbon dioxide has two carbon oxygen double bonds but each carbon dioxide molecule has two carbon oxygen double bonds. So that means we have a total two carbon oxygen double bonds. So that means two times there are two carbon oxygen bonds. Sorry, I had the coefficient two that not needed. Carbon oxygen bond value is 799 plus for H2O, there are two oxygen hydrogen bonds, but you have a coefficient of two. So that makes four oxygen hydrogen bonds. So on the product side, there are a total of four oxygen hydrogen bonds. So four times the bond enthalpy value of oxygen hydrogen bond is 464. So if I do the math, minus 802.23. So four times 414 gives me positive 1656. I'm going to assume this oxygen value as X. So I'm going to write two X. Then 799 times two, that's 1598 plus four times 464. That's 1856. So left side again, I have 802.23, 1656. Then three, four, five, four. Please pay attention. This has a negative value. This is a positive sign. So if I do that math, so that gives me so that gives me minus negative eight oh two point twenty three equals to seventeen ninety eight. If I do the math for these two, that will give me seventeen ninety eight with a negative sign plus 2x. So to solve for x, add 1798 both sides. So this cancels out. So 1798 with a positive sign minus 802.23. That is 999. Positive 994. 5.7 equals to 2x, 2 moles of oxygen. So if I solve for x, so divided by 2, that should give you the bond enthalpy value of oxygen, oxygen double bond as 497.85 kilojoules. And they want you to do the energy diagram. So this is an exothermic reaction. Exothermic reaction means energy released. Energy is released because reactants have a higher energy than products. So the difference between the energy of reactants and products must be equal to the delta H for the chemical reaction. So this whole thing is my energy of reactants. This is my energy of products. Energy of reactants minus energy of products must be equal to the value of your delta H. You know that your delta H value is 802.23.
so that means this particular gap should be equal to delta h which is 802.23 thank you